So, Mr. Chibu, would it be on the table, therefore, to allow it for all developers? In that case, uh, you would not, the, the government would not uh, be accused of, uh, uh, you know, selectively allowing some developers if all projects under development uh, or underway are allowed. Is that on the table as a policy consideration? As I told you, it's not on the table. What is on the table is the proposal of NHAI board with reference to the 22 projects. And uh, I can see where uh, the other gentleman is coming from and we can certainly look at that separately. But mm -hmm. right now what is on the table and under examination is with reference to the 22 projects. Mm -hmm. Let's get this out of the way and then we will see what uh, requires to be done in respect of others or if anything at all needs to be done in respect of the others. But I don't think this is a case of uh, arm twisting government and I don't think it's a case of uh, IRB uh, warning government. I don't think this is the kind of dialogue that we appreciate and I think we should uh, sit down and put our heads together when we have a problem rather than taking uh, such uh, strong positions. Okay, Mr. Maiskar, what is your view on this? Um, at this point in time, are you expecting any uh, one-time benefits for rescheduling of the premium and uh, if not, will you be looking to, uh, you know, to go to court or to use any kind of legal route? Uh, first of all, uh, let me clarify what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. I did not say that uh, we are warning the government or we are arm twisting the government. Uh, if uh, it has been misunderstood, I am sorry for that. Mm -hmm. What I tried to say was that the people who have stayed out mm -hmm. and have not taken the appointed date and have said that only if the premium backending is done, they would come into the project. That appears to be an arm twisting. There is no question of we warning the government because we have already committed ourselves to stand by the government and have taken up the project. Mm. What we are trying to say is that the same uh, slowdown in economy is also making us suffer. And that's the reason why we have pleaded that we also should be considered on the projects which have uh, taken up the investment also should be considered. Now, uh, uh, the NHBF has also taken the same stand. So, uh, I am not at any cross purpose with the government at all. No, so, if you are not considered, then what will the next step be that IRB will take? Uh, see, let's understand this very clearly that this is a signed closed concession agreement as uh, the road secretary rightly said. And what uh, the government is trying to do is to reopen those concessions and uh, see whether some reform measure can be brought into it to solve this problem which is uh, making all of us suffer. Mm. So if uh, so, when this dialogue started, NHBF, which is our uh, federation, wrote to all concessionaires saying that this is a reform that the government is thinking of undertaking. And in such a situation, to avoid any litigation in the future, we all should give an NOC that we are okay with this kind of a reform. Now, we all of us have given the uh, NOC to the government or to NH, uh, through NHBF is on a very specific uh, understanding that mm. this scheme will be made applicable to all of us. Mm. And on that basis, we have given our NOC. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Chibber, uh, uh, you know, there is a point in saying that uh, those who abided and are staying within their contracts uh, should also be given a look-in. Uh, in fact, more so than those who refuse to abide by the contract. Uh, uh, would you take this to the board, what the NHBF has uh, requested of you? Well, uh, 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 I'm, I'm sure IRB is already in touch with the NHEI and NHEI will examine this and if they consider it appropriate, they should bring it to the board. Mm -hmm. But, you know, one thing is very clear, uh, reopening of uh, done deals, reopening of a contract, uh, we don't have too much experience in government, uh, in, mm -hmm. in, 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 uh, in, in not only in the road sector, but in any sector. Mm -hmm. okay. And when we look at uh, reopening uh, a done deal, it's not only with reference to this sector, but mm -hmm. I think this will this experience will spill out into other sectors as well. Mm -hmm. So this is not something which only the roads ministry is uh, concerned about. This mm -hmm. is something which the entire government is concerned about. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We don't have, we can, uh, we, we are ourselves of the view that uh, long-term projects uh, like uh, the concession mm -hmm. agreement stretching over 20, 25, 30 years, mm -hmm. uh, it's difficult to cast them in stone and mm -hmm. possibly there would be circumstances which will require revisitation. But mm -hmm. frankly, we don't have that kind of experience in our country so far and the okay. current environment doesn't make it very uh, convenient either to look at uh, reopening of uh, Fair, sure. Fair point. So Mr. Chibber, in that uh, context just, that... Yeah. Sure. Uh, we, we don't have too it's much time, so I just want to get a couple of more points yeah. out of the way, sir. Um, you know, no, uh, let me yeah. just finish yeah. one yeah. last sure, sure. point. Go ahead. Let Go me ahead. just finish one last point here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so it's in that context that we are looking at those projects which are 
uh, under stress mm. and one of the very obvious uh, issues that sh which will determine stress is that those projects which have not achieved the appointed date. Mm. A project which has already be achieved the appointed date and is now under implementation one would assume is less under stress than those which haven't even commenced and that's the, uh, that's the two distinctions that we are making. Okay, fair enough. Um, we understand that the NHAI has now made a pitch for uh, scrapping this PPP project uh, method altogether and perhaps uh, looks to get back to the EPC route. Um, and uh, we understand yes. that the NHAI chairman has written to you regarding this as well. Uh, what would your thoughts be on this and uh, when will the road ministry take a decision on this regard, if at all? Oh, I think you have misunderstood the uh, chairman's letter. I mean, chairman NHAI has basically said that in the current environment, when we are not getting bids, and we mm. have about 20 odd bids that have received no response, uh, he, his suggestion is that shall we not fast track these projects on the EPC route? Mm. Well, we already have an architecture which says that you first try the BOT toll, then the annuity, and then the EPC. Mm -hmm. What he is suggesting is can we short, sh sort of, uh, can we take a shortcut and shift from the BOT toll straight away to the EPC? Mm -hmm. uh, we will examine that, we will examine that. It's an eminently sensible suggestion. Mm -hmm. But it's not that we are going to do away with PPP. Mm -hmm. PPP in the road sector has been a success story and we should therefore keep it on the okay. agenda. In the, given the current environment, there is a difficulty in PPP projects and we will look at whatever else needs to be done to keep the road construction activity going. Mr. Chibber, what were, uh, how many uh, kilometers of roads has been awarded this year at all? I think you all started with a goal of 8,000, right? We started with a goal of 7,500 okay. and we are now at about 1,500. Mm. And we will be bringing in a large number of kilometrage in this period between November, December to January. Mm. Uh, you, may, you may recall that in the EPC mode, we have tightened the norms of availability of land up to 90%. And uh, this is with the, object, with the intention that projects once awarded should not have any disputes between the constructing agency and the authority mm. as regards availability of land. It is this one issue which is holding back the projects. Our difficulties vis-a-vis -vis environment uh, ministry have uh, resolved themselves. Land is the main issue holding back the projects. We are hopeful that a large amount of uh, kilometrage will come into the market in November, in December and in January mm -hmm. and we will then be catching up with the targets that we have set for the year. Just one last monosyllabic answer from you. What is large, sir, in terms of numbers? Uh, within this three months, we will have 3,000 kilometers uh, uh, of, uh, kilo, uh, of road being awarded, uh, being brought, brought, brought into the market for award. All right. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Out of time, sir, though not out of questions, right. sir. Mr. Chibber, Mr. Baiskar, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so in terms of awarding, even if that 3,000 comes in, it'll be 4,500. It's still a, a bit of a far cry from the 7,500, oh, yeah. but better than where we are now.